What's going on peeps? Be back again with another vid. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment and share. Big yourselves up. We got the review for the Everton game on Sunday. As you know, we played our game. Hang on, bear me two sets. So we played our game yesterday against Vitesse. First half an hour. Pretty much brilliant. Best I've seen them play in a while. And after that, once they got their one goal back, the whole game changed. They just went back to the Tottenham that I'm used to with Nuno and Mourinho just looking shaky. That last 10 minutes of the second half, first half, sorry, not great. And up until around the 80th minute, we did not look comfy. They were all on us. Wave after wave after wave after wave. That, that song, I don't remember who sings it. But they were on our necks for that whole game. And I can see what Conte is sort of trying to do. But obviously he's only done a couple of training sessions. So you can't even judge him off that. He's done two sessions. And these boys that he's playing with, if I'm honest, it's going to take a lot of work to mentally get him out of that negative style of play that they've been doing because they were doing it under Mourinho and they've been doing it under Nuno so it's going to be a while to break him out of that mould but I think once he does things will look somewhat decent and the team he played was quite defensive we had Skip and Heiberg Skip had an awful game by the way and if that was his audition uh, I don't know when we'll be seeing him again because that was not great at all he was awful. Um, I think Ndombele will probably come in. And I hate to say it, I thought he is dead wood. He needs to leave as soon as possible. But Harry Binks came on and he done a lot better than Oliver Skip did for that whole time he was on the pitch. And I think he was only on the pitch for maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes. No more than 20 minutes, Harry Binks. And that's the best I've seen him play. He was going forward, being direct. And usually he's going backwards, so... I give credit as due. He was, he was okay when he came on, but this is a different type of game. This is going to be his first league game, and as we know, apparently, he's not a cup manager. He's more of a league manager. Now, if he can get us performing in the league, then we can definitely finish somewhere there about in the European places. Now, obviously, we've got Everton. They usually struggle. It's been a while since we gave them a good good beating that we used to but we're away and if he chooses the right team tries to drill him from now so go training today because yesterday the man there definitely need to train today because they were poor Romero got sent off he wasn't good either he looked a little a little leggy he done all right intercepting but after a while he just doing some dumb defending, just rubbly tackling players, so I don't know what he's on. But Sanchez came on and he done a thorough job, so he needs to start probably next game. But for me, if he gets the lineup right and tries to chew some type of ethic into these boys, then there's a good chance we can win because let's be real, this Everton is not great. I thought Benitez would go in there and do a job, but he's not really having the best of time. They got battered by Watford 5-2. They lost to Wolves the other day 2-1. And it could have been more. So they're not great. But no one, you know what Tottenham like. Santa Claus, Tottenham will come up and give them a nice little win. Or give them a nice draw that they probably don't deserve. Who knows? Or they might batter us for the whole game and, and beat us. But again, Conte is just coming for the door. And the poor man is really in a must win. Because we need to win. We win, then we're only a couple of points behind Arsenal. And they will keep us somewhat near West Ham, who have Liverpool on this weekend. So hopefully, if they drop points and we pick some up, that does us a solid. But we can't get far behind. We can't be 8, 5, all that come December. It's not going to work. So we've got to be as close to the pack as possible. Obviously, that's why Levy got rid of Nuno in the first place so we can still have time to save the season 
he's another problem, but that's another story. But at least he reacted quickly to try and salvage the season for the fans. And it's probably for them as well in their pockets. It might be best of both worlds, who knows. But I'll take it. And in that regard, I do respect that he he was on job for that. But for me, I don't play Ben Davis. He wasn't bad, but he's just not great. And the thing with us, he was playing the high line. And they were just getting in again and again because our back line is so slow. There's no pace. So playing with a higher line is very risky when you've got no speed in your defence. Because if they're caught out, they're never going to catch that player and it's just going to be curtains. So they've got to be able to normally step up and run to full back. If they figure that out, then I believe, I believe it could work if he's going to go three at the back because we know that's his... His thing. It's either 3 5 2 or the 3 4 3, which he played yesterday, which for the first half an hour looked good. After that, not so much. We just looked like the old Tottenham and he looked stressed. Uh, I'll admit, he looked like he was like, What have I done? What have I signed up for? Terry Kane, not bad, not the worst I've seen him. He did get an assist in some parts of the game. He did look, he looked good, he showed some strength, but. Some parts, it's been poor touches, ball is bouncing off him, not great. So, unless you can get him up and running, I don't know, do we drop him? I don't know, me personally, he's not been performing in the league, I will drop him. But, it just depends, who do you bring in? Do you bring in Delhi? do you bring in Celso, who do you bring in? But, I guess, he's going to play him because it's the star man. He's not going to get dropped. But this is my 11 I will go with. And I probably would. Do I put Hakeen in there? Because I would put the Celso in, but he's been awful. He's not really been great. He wasn't even great. Yesterday he had a chance, and instead of trying to go low, he went high and hit the keep in the face. But you can't put Delhi in, definitely not him. So I guess in that regard. The Celso didn't really give himself much. He didn't really put in a shift and give do a good audition. It was a bit awful. So I guess Harry Kane has to step in because no one else seems to be stepping up to the plate. It seems that when Harry Kane plays bad, everyone wants to play bad as well, so they can't get a look in. So I guess he's in. But for me, if we're gonna go with a three four three, then I'm going with Romero, Sanchez Romero, Dyer. Obviously, Luis in the goal just doesn't need to be doesn't need to be said. What's understood don't need to be explained. And in the midfield, as the wing backs were going with Regidon on the left, Royal on the right, who somehow got man of the match. From I don't know who gave him man of the match yesterday. He wasn't great. He can't cross. Going forward, he's not great defensively. He's a little bit eh. So I don't know how he got man of the match. If he got man of the match, that means everyone else must have been shocking. But I'm taking him over Doherty and in the middle I'm going with Hoiberg and and Dombele. We needed that because we had two defensive midfielders and going forward it was non existent pretty much. We weren't really getting it moving it quickly enough. It seemed a little bit pedestrian. So for me and Dombele comes in and the three up top, obviously, Kane up top, Son on the left, and Lucas for me, he's been probably our player of the season, or one of them, he's out there on the right. The Celso's not done nothing to get in, and nor has Delhi. I would have put in uh, Winks, he didn't play a good, make a good cameo, but he's not getting in over in Dombley, and he's definitely not getting ahead, ahead of um, Hoiberg. So for me, we're going back three. Sanchez, Romero, Dyer, bring backs, Regulon, and well, in between we got Heiberg and Dombley, and up top, Son, Kane, and Lucas. It's a no brainer. That's probably the best team we got, which is what we had yesterday, and it didn't look great, but a couple of changes, who knows, we'll see. Might be to pick up the points and, and go marching on. 
there's international breaks coming up soon, so I think this might be the last weekend of football. I think it's international break after this. So we definitely need to, to win and go to national break in a good position. But you know, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm getting out of here, going to enjoy mine. And as always, stay safe. You really know. I can't say Nuno out because he's out, but Conte's in and let's hope he can get us where we need to be. But until the next vid, I'm out of here, peeps. Peace.